It doesn't matter what country in which you live in, you can probably check the television listings and find a reality show. They're everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Well, there is a reality show produced in Sweden that's really popular. And last season, one of the contestants came from right in Erie County. It was a life-changing experience for her. John Latz talked to her about it in this edition of Last Word. believe I've ever met someone who's been a contestant on a reality TV show before, especially a show that's produced and broadcast in Sweden. Well, I didn't have to go to Sweden to meet such a person. All I had to do was travel to Gerard. This is Desiree Davis, decked out in a shirt she received as a contestant on the popular Swedish reality show called Alphaspelia. The show recruits Americans of Swedish descent and sends them to Sweden to learn about and participate in activities involving the Swedish culture. At the end of each show, the contestants must test their skill about everything that they've learned, and one by one, someone is eliminated. <laughs> Desiree was born in Sweden. Her dad, Philip Carlson, loves Sweden and yeah. watches the show online. He urged Desiree to try out so she could learn about her homeland. So I followed the program throughout the, throughout the series, you know, and I thought it'd be interesting because she really uh, never had an interest like I did. The producers loved Desiree's personality and background. She is a bodybuilder and runner. She is a stand-up comedian, clown, and balloon artist. She was chosen as one of 10 contestants for season 11 that aired last year. I didn't have a motive like I'm going to be who they, I think they want me to be. I was just myself, and my thought was if I'm chosen, it's meant to be. In addition to all the fun cultural stuff the contestants experience, there's also a serious side to the show. Each contestant is taken aside, and they read a letter that outlines their Swedish genealogy. Desiree was driven to a farmhouse built by her ancestors. After years of not really caring much about her ethnic history, it finally hit her. She was sitting on the very property that's portrayed on a painting on her living room wall. She was in Sweden. She felt at home. I left that location with a sense of, of peace, like this is why. After my story was shot, I knew that is why I went. It was like, it was like a divine appointment. This is what this was about. Yes, indeed. Desiree's appearance on a Swedish reality show was meant to be. Sister to Lord. With the last word in Gerard, John Last, Erie News Now.